Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at something a little bit traditional but also a little bit new. That's right, I'm going to take a look at this. It's the Barista Stout from Theakston's. Theakston's, as many of you will know, are a very old school brewer up in North Yorkshire and um, generally speaking, I do appreciate their beers even if they're not the most interesting. But last time I was up there, I did film a few bits with both Theakston's and Black Sheep beers, but Despite having bought quite a few of these, I never actually filmed a review or anything on it really. So, yeah, it's about time. This is the last can from my last trip up to that part of the world. And, well, let's give it a review. Before we break into it then, here is a quick look at the can. I mean, it's pretty nice artwork, but let's be honest. It's a 4.2% coffee stout is the uh, description on the side. Um, and, yeah, it's got some information on the back. And the same logo again on the other side. But, yeah, pretty nice looking. For this one I'll just be using a straight up, again fairly trad glass, this one is from uh, Black Isle. Now, it has to be said, that is not a bad pour at all, which is rare for me. Um, it is a nearly jet black beer. It's got just a tiny bit of reddy brown bleeding through at the bottom. Solid one finger off white head. It's not quite coffee colored. Um, and it is depleting very quickly, so actually, to be honest. So that's probably going to be gone in a few moments. But yeah, looks pretty good. Right then, aromas. Subtle, I think, is the standout character here. It's got that dark malt, it's got a bit of light cream crema coffee. And that's about it, to be honest. It's not hugely present on the nose, but you can tell it's a coffee stout. And to be honest, that's probably all that matters. So let's get into it. Cheers. Now, while the aroma was a bit subtle, the flavour isn't massive. It's still a very easy drinking, sessionable beer, as you would expect from this kind of brewery. But it does open up and open out of it. It is much more breathy in its flavour profile than the aroma may suggest. And it's very lightly carbonated, just enough, well, to be honest, perfectly for this style for me. And Okay, the mouth feels, well, you can see it in the glass. It's a bit washy, it's a bit thin, but there's a nice, breathy, sweet coffee flavour that runs throughout. And if you're a fan of coffee, but not necessarily big on very kind of coffee-heavy espresso stouts, this is probably a good shout because it's never too bitter or too rich. It's just coffee. Not a special coffee, not a, it's, I'll be honest, this is probably the beer equivalent of a higher quality instant coffee, which I know is going to be sound very offensive to some people, but it's not really what I mean. It's just a nice, solid, everyday, coffee-like experience that, okay, it's in firm stout territory, it's a bit thin, but, eh, you know, it's kind of what we expected from this brewery, and... Be honest as an everyday beer i do rather like it so top to bottom taste test time initially minor carbonation very light bitterness on the front of the tongue that second phase is where the coffee really hits hardest it's still not abrasive it's maybe light roast but unsweetened coffee is the best way i can describe it yet so despite saying that it's not very floral that mid phase you get the proper stouty nature of this beer. The roasty malts, the just the depth of character. I mean, it's not really chocolatey, it's not really licorice if I'm honest. It's quite a light stout in terms of flavour, but it's actually quite refreshing, and both literally and in terms of, well, having a stout that's maybe not too pudding-like. Yes, I wish the mouthfeel was better, but I really don't hate it. Um, on the back end... The coffee lifts up again, but sweeter this time, more cafe crema, and there's just a hint of something else. It's mildly fruited, 
mildly licorice -y, like you would expect from just a straight up fairly robust stout on the finish. A little bit sweeter. You could argue for a hint of vanilla, but a bit of caramel malt maybe, but it pretty much stays at the same level all the way through. It is not a great beer. In fact, it could be argued it's not a good beer, but it is an enjoyable beer, and that's all that really, really matters. Right, let's take a look at the can. So, on the front, Thiexton Barista Stout, 4.2% ABV. It says, the ultimate velvety, nitrogen-infused, coffee-flavoured stout, uh, a delicious brew with caramel and vanilla flavours. Okay. Hints of dark berry fruits and a bold, freshly roasted espresso aroma. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'd actually pretty much nailed it on that one. Now, the caramel and vanilla, I said, could be argued for. It's not strong. It's certainly not strong enough that I'd be putting it on the front of the can, but okay, there's bits of it there. And again, the dark berry fruits, the kind of licorice light berry thing, absolutely. Um, freshly roasted espresso. It's not really, I wouldn't call it an espresso style. The coffee element simply isn't strong enough. Um, it said, unpasteurized and cold filtered to protect the truly unique flavor of our beer. There's loads of information on here because obviously they ship out worldwide. Um, but is there anything else we really need to know? There's 1.9 UK units in this can. It's a 440ml can. It's 4.2%, as I've already said several times. Uh, the contains barley and wheat. I'll just give the nutritional value if you're interested. It's probably best not to look at that on dark beer. Um, brewed in uh, Masham. Also, I was recently told it's actually Masham. North York, so not Masham, but I've been getting that wrong for years, apparently. So there we are. But yeah, it is. I'm torn. It's a bit too thin. It's not quite got enough flavour. And despite those pretty damning statements, I actually really, really enjoy it. Yeah, I do. And to be honest, I think, given the chance to have that out of a bar, I don't think you'd come away too disappointed. So, any last thoughts? Well, as it warms a little, those berry flavours may be coming a little bit more into play. But to be honest, no. I think I've said everything I really need to. Just to reiterate, it's not great, but I actually really like it. And, well, it goes to show, because I bought quite a lot of it having never tried it before. And this is the last can. So I have drank it all. Um, it's an interesting one. If you like traditional beer and just like to sit back sometimes with something that's not too complicated, too brash, but isn't an everyday off-the-shelf lager, you're probably going to enjoy it. If you're looking for something very exciting, maybe go for something else. But as I say, I'm actually digging it quite a lot so that is everything as always thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please like it if you haven't already subscribed if you'll be so kind and i'll catch you next time cheers